Okay, mate, move them here. Nude photography for sure stands out from other photography genres. Why? Lexus sent me a nude last week. Nice. However, it has much in common as shooting portraits, fashion, fine art, or family photographies. I'm not so sure for the last one, but luckily, nude photography takes the same work principles as other genres. And I mean from finding right examples, studying them, choosing location, props, angles and so on. And that means that before every photo shoot you must do homeworks, and mostly not for the client or a teacher in primary school, but for yourself. So I wrote down six steps, what everyone should do before shooting nude photography, and I will try to explain as fast as possible. Okay, let's go. Nude photography definitely takes time, and the reason is simple, because it's not so easy to find who wants to be against cover naked. So for this reason, backlight photography type is definitely the best choice, because harsh backlight does not capture full body, but just a frame of it, so all photo simply becomes like a fine art just in seconds. Of course the easiest way to find examples for any topic is to type the search bar exactly what you're willing to do. So in this case, nude photography, backlight, perfect. So right now I'll try to find at least 20 decent images in, I don't know, half an hour. So yeah, wish me good luck. Bam, 24 images, easy. From example, it's very easy to assume that all photos has in common harsh backlight, of course, deep black shadows, unique poses, thin path of light which surrounds the body. Looks good. Looks damn good. Okay. Camera gear, black background and lighting strokes already next to me, so I marked electrical heater, white transparent fabric, some kind of water sprays, mirror, I'm not quite sure that I need them, but safety first. Okay, step number five. At the shoot I will try three different lighting setups. The first one in the middle with a huge softbox, the second two harsh lights from the both sides, and the third and I think the last one, one harsh light in the middle, right or left. The height of strokes mostly depends on the situation. For example, if someone is laying down on the ground, so I probably will try to move light source as close to the ground as possible to get thin line of light which surrounds naked body. Every lighting setup has its own benefit. The soft light with softbox makes even lighting on the naked body, also the skin will look softer. And the grid helps to control lighting from spreading all over the place, so it's more directional. The double side harsh light helps to pop out body from the picture. It creates 3D effect. Also, it helps to understand the whole body more clearly. And just one harsh light makes image mysterious, brings body deeply to the darkness. For this photo shoot, I will set the patcher at f8, because it makes sharpest image, and I want every body part in focus. As usual, I saw at 100, the lowest number I can get, to have the least grainy photos, and the shutter speed from 160 to 250 in a second. In those settings, image indoors should look black as hell, and that's because I want to create paths of light on nude body with strobes and reduce all unwanted lighting from windows. Of course, you can block light with black thick fabric. Hi. Nude photography. Dope or nope? And that's pretty much it. All is left is to shoot. And wait until the sun goes down for more intimacy. And I don't have a permission to show all work process on this stage. So, sorry.
And if you have any suggestions for the next video, you know what to do, right? It's almost the end of quarantine, so I think it's time to shoot outside. <laughs>